Did you know this miracle in American history? Prior to the Revolutionary War, the two biggest powers in the world was France and Britain. They had colonies stretching the globe. Britain's king was King George II, and France's king was King Louis XV. His father was King Louis XIV, who was the Sun King. He actually said, I am the state. Well, this conflict between Britain and France exploded into the first global war called the Seven Years' War. In America, this was called the French and Indian War. It was sparked by the ambush in 1754 of a French detachment in the Ohio Valley by British militia led by 22-year-old Virginia Colonel George Washington. It spread to every major power in Europe and their colonies in the Caribbean, India, Philippines, and Africa. Over a million died. Well, 1,400 British troops marched over the Appalachian Mountains to seize the French Fort Duquesne near present-day Pittsburgh. One of the wagon drivers was 21-year-old Daniel Boone. On July 9, 1755, as they passed through a deep wooded ravine along the Monongahela River, eight miles south of the fort, they were ambushed by the French regulars, Canadians, and Potawatomi and Ottawa Indians. Not accustomed to fighting unless in an open field, over 900 British soldiers were annihilated in the Battle of the Wilderness, or it's also called the Battle of Monongahela. Colonel George Washington rode back and forth during the battle, delivering orders for General Edward Braddock, Commander-in-Chief of the British forces in America. Eventually, Braddock was killed, and every other officer on horseback was shot, except George Washington. Washington carried Braddock from the field. Braddock's field desk was captured, revealing all of the British Army's plans. This enabled the French to surprise and defeat British forces in the battles of Fort Oswego, Fort William Henry, Fort Duquesne, and Carillion. These British losses convinced the Iroquois tribes of Senecas and Cayugas to switch their allegiances to the French. Before he died, Braddock gave Washington his battle uniform sash, which Washington reportedly carried with him the rest of his life, even while commander-in-chief and president. Washington presided at the burial service for General Braddock as the chaplain was wounded. Braddock's body was buried in the middle of the road so as to prevent it from being found and desecrated. Shortly thereafter, riding from Fort Cumberland, George Washington described the Battle of Monongahela to his younger brother, John Augustine Washington, July 18, 1755. As I have heard since my arrival at this place, a circumstantial account of my death and dying speech, I take this early opportunity of contradicting the first and of assuring you that I have not as yet composed the latter. But by the all-powerful dispensations of providence, I have been protected beyond all human probability or expectation. For I had four bullets through my coat and two horses shot under me, yet escaped unhurt although death was leveling my companions on every side of me. An Indian warrior later declared, Washington was never born to be killed by a bullet. I had 17 fair fires at him with my rifle, and after all, could not bring him to the ground. America is unique in world history, and it's important for us to remember these miracles in American history.